Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to go over all the possible reasons why Cassandra did not get involved in this small event that happened in 2012. You know, the end of the feckin' world. So, spoilers for the Assassin's Creed series coming up, and without further ado, let's begin. So in case there is any confusion so far, let me explain what this video is centered around. In Assassin's Creed 3, Desmond Miles saved the world by activating the global Aurora Borealis device. He died in the process due to his low level of Isu DNA. Since the Isu did not like human or hybrids playing with their toys, in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, we see a similar device activated in Norway, which seems to be of a similar lethal power to non-Isu people. Or maybe Sigurd just started screaming for no reason. It happens to the best of us, mate. <laughs> Sigurd, however, has 5% Isu DNA. Then we have Cassandra, who was alive for over 2,400 years. She has the Staff of Hermes that heals you from all wounds. And she has somewhere between 20 to 25% Isu DNA, which is the highest any protagonist in the Assassin's Creed series has had to date. She did not die till 2018, so she was still alive in 2012. She had the highest body count out of oh, sorry. She had the highest amount of Isu DNA and an Isu staff that heals all wounds and allows her to live for over 2,400 years. Placing her hand on a pedestal would be as easy as saying, My laka. So why didn't Minerva contact her through her calculations? So next thing I have to state is how how does one enter the Grand Temple? One does not simply walk in. So to get through the main entrance, you need to have an Apple of Eden. Cassandra acquired many apples during Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but all of them would be ineligible for this task, since it specifically needs to be an Apple of Eden modified by Minerva as seen in Assassin's Creed 2. So Cassandra would either have to get Ezio's apple from the Isu Temple under the Roman Colosseum, as seen in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, or she could simply get Pally with Minerva. A hologram would not be the worst thing Cassandra scissored. Being able to wield a piece of Eden would be quite easy for Cassandra, given her high concentration of Isu DNA. Even if she's not quite as bright as Altair, who managed to become quite skilled with wielding an apple after a couple decades, I'm sure Cassandra could devote a few decades out of her 2,400 years on this planet, educating herself on such devices. Once through the main entrance of the Grand Temple, there is the gate within that needs to be powered up and unlocked. So, three Isu power sources are required, along with a key to the gate, as seen in Assassin's Creed 3. So, the best time to obtain the key would have been when it was in Europe either with the Assassins or Templars. The key would have been pretty hard to track down once Connor buries it at the homestead. Then there's the task of coming across the power sources. I'm sure Cassandra could have gone gallivanting around the world with ease considering she's immortal. She could have done this at any point during her life. So that's everything required to get to the global Aurora Borealis device. So what could be the reasons Cassandra did none of that? Because the writers did not think. That happens a lot with this series. Let me start with the reason I'm sure most of you had since you started watching the video. That would be the writers of Assassin's Creed Odyssey did not fathom what issues Cassandra, living for over 2,400 years, would cause to the Assassin's Creed continuity. But apart from that, is there an in-world reason Cassandra did not save the world? Now you're probably wondering why I keep digging into the plot holes Cassandra causes. Because no one else will! So Cassandra stands. Sheave your meat swords for once in your life. Be sure to like and subscribe and let's continue. For an in-world reason, let's begin with one of the main orchestrators of this complicated plan to save the world from another great catastrophe. That would be Minerva. 
Minerva used calculations to find potential candidates that could save the world. In case any of you need a refresher, Isu calculations are the Isu's way of seeing potential future timelines through simulations. Out of all the possible calculations, Minerva thought Desmond was the ideal candidate to pull off this plan. No matter what Desmond did with his life, bartender, priest, OnlyFans model, TikTok thought, Desmond was always the perfect candidate. He would always have his ancestors' memories stored in his DNA, no matter his profession, ready to be accessed at the right time. Minerva needed someone connected to the Assassins or Templars, since both orders are always investigating Isu sites, temples, and artifacts. So someone with a bunch of Assassin and Templar ancestors makes for the ideal candidate. However, there is one candidate who would be far superior. You could tell this person who also investigates Isu sites and temples and collects Isu artifacts and could be contacted by Minerva. What needs to be done to save the world and this candidate would be able to do all of this by herself and still be alive after the mission is completed. So why would Minerva select Desmond and his ancestors over Cassandra? Just like fans of the series. So even though the staff of Hermes keeps Cassandra alive for millennia, it might be the main reason Minerva did not want Cassandra involved. The Grand Temple was the hub of Isu knowledge, gathered by the Capitoline Triad. So would they want any person gaining access to this wealth of knowledge? Desmond and his team would not know what to do with the information found in the Grand Temple, especially since they would only have a couple of months to sift through all of the data and they were more focused on saving the world in that time frame. Instead of browsing through Jupiter's search history, when Abstergo entered the Grand Temple, all the Isu archives have been wiped clean by Juno, so the Templars never got to access the Capitoline Triad's archives. So if Alethea, seen as part of a rival Isu faction who has been imbued in the staff of Hermes for millennia, entered the Grand Temple via Cassandra's pocket, would would she have been able to steal all of the Capitoline Triad's data? I guess the answer would have to be yes, given that Minerva decided to go with Desmond, and not the easier candidate, Cassandra. Cassandra did also have the responsibility of protecting the Gates of Atlantis, but considering we have seen her appear in Valhalla and Codename Jade in locations far away from the Gates of Atlantis, then it's clear she can neglect her responsibility from time to time, especially if scissoring grannies is on the table. Figuratively, of course. Even in the modern day of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, she's seen wearing a suit, so she must have popped out of the cave within the last couple of years to add that drip to her wardrobe. So there we have it, let me know your thoughts on if Cassandra could have saved the world in 2012 or not in the comments down below. If you want more Cassandra-centered videos, they're on screen now, since I'm a secret fanboy. And I'll catch you all next time. Did she have fun? That should hold her for a few days at least.